The judge has approved an $800 million settlement for the victims of that shooting and their families. Fox 5's Jason Sloss spoke with two survivors downtown about the recovery and reaction to the settlement. Jason. Well, Maria, we hear from these uh, two victims of the Vegas shooting who say this settlement brings around brings about some closure in terms of holding MGM accountable, but clearly it doesn't take care of everything because the wounds that they have, they will need constant treatment and will be a constant reminder of the nightmare they've gone through. Three years since the Las Vegas shooting massacre and many victims are still recovering. Two victims appeared with local attorney James France to give their reaction to the $800 million settlement from MGM Resorts International to more than 4,400 relatives and victims of the shooting. Tiffany Huizar of Orange County was celebrating her 18th birthday the night of the shooting. Bullets struck her in the arm and stomach. No money will ever be enough money for what we've been through. No money will ever make me forget that night. Nothing will stop the nightmares. Nothing will stop the anxiety. Nothing's going to stop the PTSD. A gunman holed up in a room on the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay opened fire on the crowd attending an open air country music festival. The massacre left 58 people dead and around 850 others wounded and injured. Chelsea Romo, a 31 year old single mother of two from Temecula, was shot in the head. She's had seven surgeries. She's lost an eye and has brain damage. My life will never be the same. My kids will tell me, um, please don't leave, don't go to the store, don't go out, Mom, I don't want you to get shot. And when your five-year-old tells you that and they're afraid for you to walk out of the room because they're afraid to lose you, it just, it has not been easy. Definitely so emotional still to talk about all of that. Coming up next hour, we'll have more reaction, including from the attorney, and also an update on a local woman's road to recovery. Live downtown, Jason Sloss, Fox 5 News.